If you deal with the same customers or suppliers on a regular basis, you can create records for them. This saves you time when entering your sales and purchases, and helps you keep track of who owes you money and who you owe money to. You can set up a new customer or supplier record from the Contacts tab. In this example, we will set up a customer, but if you wanted to create a supplier, the steps are the same, except instead of clicking the Create or Import Customers button, you would choose the Create or Import Suppliers. To create your customer, click New Customer. First, enter the company name. Then you can enter a reference for this contact if you have one, as well as contact information. Below you can enter the region and address of the contact record. The default ledger account is used when you create invoices or quick entries for this customer. This is also entered in the default settings area, but this can be amended for individual customers. If your customer is VAT registered, you can enter their VAT number here. If the customer is from overseas, the VAT number will need to be in the correct format for their country. After you enter the main address, you can choose if this is a delivery address or if there is a separate one. You can then set a credit limit by selecting the Set Credit Limit checkbox and entering the credit limit value. The credit limit is then displayed on the Age Debtors and Age Creditors reports. The default terms refer to those set in the default settings area of Sage 1. However, if you have individual credit days for your customer, you can check the Customize Terms box and enter this in the Credit Days field. As the bank account information is for records only, you can enter as much or as little detail as you'd like. If you have enabled foreign currencies in your settings, you can select which currency you wish to use. Please note that you cannot have multiple currencies against one customer or supplier record. If you need to use multiple currencies, you will need to have multiple records set up for your customer or supplier. When you're happy with the information that you've entered, remember to click Save before leaving the page. Once you have set up your customer and supplier records, these can then be used when entering transactions.